Statisticians are experts in the preparation and analysis of statistics. This video will focus on their salaries and job growth. Coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Stephen Hack and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on giving the latest up-to-date information on different careers. For weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other career information, support us by subscribing. Statisticians apply theories and techniques such as mathematical or statistical modeling to solve practical problems. They design surveys, experiments, or opinion polls to collect data. Statisticians work in many fields such as education, marketing, psychology, sports, or any other field that requires the collection and analysis of data. In particular, government, healthcare, and research and development companies employ many statisticians. Let's get into the salary and job statistics. As you can see, over the past 20 years, statistician salaries have been consistently growing. In the year 1999, the average statistician was making a little over $50,000. There was this steady growth from 1999 to 2018. And in 2018, the average salary for statisticians was a little over $92,000. So the average statistician wage rose almost $42,000 over a period of 20 years. This comes out to an average yearly gain of a little over $2,000 per year. All right, let's take a look at the job growth. As you can see, statisticians have had pretty solid job growth over the past 20 years. In the year 1999, there was a little over 14,000 jobs for statisticians. From 1999 to 2013, statisticians gained about 10,000 jobs. But starting in 2013, the job gains started accelerating. In just five years from 2013 to 2018, statisticians gained about 15,000 jobs. The government is estimating that this will continue. They are estimating a 31% growth in jobs for statisticians from 2018 to 2028. This comes out to a gain of 12,000 jobs over 10 years, which is actually slower than the past five years for statisticians. Because like I said previously, over the last five years, statisticians have gained about 15,000 jobs. But needless to say, very few occupations have this kind of growth. To put this into context, the average occupation is growing at about 5%. So the fact that the government is estimating that statistician jobs will rise 31% is pretty remarkable. Next, let's take a look at statistician pay by industry. The federal government pays statisticians the most money, with the average salary being $106,000 per year. Research and development is next, with the average wage being about $96,000. This is pretty interesting because usually federal government jobs don't pay as much as private industry. Usually the idea is you give up a little pay for better benefits working for the federal government. So it's kind of interesting that statisticians make more money in the federal government than in the private sector. Insurance companies are next with the average national wage at $81,000 per year. And in fourth place, there are healthcare companies where the average wage is about 79,000 per year. Next is where do statisticians tend to work? As you can see, statisticians work in a wide variety of industries. The largest group or 12% works in research and development. 11% works for the federal government and 10% work in healthcare. But this chart just kind of goes to show you that statisticians can work in a wide variety of fields. So those are the national job and salary numbers for statisticians. But if you were to become one, where would you live? This isn't a tiny field, but it's not a massive field either. For example, there are millions of nursing jobs. Nurses can pretty much live in any metro area that they want. But with statisticians, given that there's only 40,000 jobs, you have to live in particular areas. First, let's take a look at the jobs by state. There are no jobs in South Dakota or Montana, but there are jobs in pretty much every other state. Most of the jobs are in the dark green areas, such as California, Texas, and New York. I have also compiled a list of the five metro areas that I believe are the best for statisticians. These metro areas are based off the number of jobs and the local salary. You see, the average national salary is $92,000, but the local salary or the metro area salary can be much higher or lower than the national salary. So here are the five places that I believe are the best for statisticians. Number five is the San Francisco metro area. There's over 1,500 jobs. The cost of living is fairly high, but the local pay is almost $26,000 over the national average. Number four is the Washington DC metro area. There's over 4,500 jobs. The cost of living is less than San Francisco, but still pretty expensive. And the local pay is $13,180 over the national average. Number three is the Boston metro area. There's 2,700 jobs. The cost of living is about on par with DC and the local wage is $19,350 over the national average. 
Number two is the Raleigh metro area. There's only 400 jobs, but the cost of living is very low and the local pay is $18,580 over the national average. And the best metro area for statisticians is the Bridgeport, Connecticut metro area. There's only 100 jobs, so the sample size isn't that big, but the local average wage is almost $50,000 over the national average. So those are five great metro areas for statisticians. Are you interested in becoming a statistician? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.